Hello, Medicamp. Um, a few minutes ago, I just read on the news that um, Donald Trump has been impeached. So I thought it would be very appropriate to, to make a tutorial about kicks, um, 808 style kicks. Um, now, Vital, for those of you who don't have Vital yet on your computer, please remember it's free. So pause here, download it. And um, in two minutes, you will have you'll see exactly the same thing as as I do here. However, please remember, everything I'm going to talk about here is applicable to serum any other synthesizers. So techniques that you'll learn here. Um, I hope you'll be able to uh, use anywhere else. So first of all, let's review uh, for those of you who remember MIDI Comp 1 and our serum drills, um, VCO based 808. Simple sine wave with a sweep. So let's say we have a uh, we have a we have a sine wave here. And all you need to do is put some kind of envelope, we're using LFO because we want to have more control over that sweep. So first you need to create that that silly sweep. And then you can shape it. First of all, obviously, we need to change it to envelope mode. Uh, this is available in Serum as well. And now the idea is that the first portion of the sound is fairly aggressive. Um, let's transpose it. So as you can as you can see, we're getting somewhere with this. And, and it's now up to you how uh, faithful you want this 808 to be or you want something more aggressive. You probably still want to add some click on top of that. So um, th this sound, by the way, is very useful uh, if you layer it with other, other kicks um, to create something more complex. So this is very basic stuff. Um, however, in this tutorial, I wanted to show you um, a slightly more advanced technique um, using filter uh, self oscillation and pinging. So let's talk about self oscillating filters. Let's initialize this patch. And the fun part about this technique is that we actually don't need uh, oscillators, believe it or not. Um, just white noise for now. I'm going to send this white noise through a filter. And high resonance. So here we, we have this kind of um, wind noise, wind um, sound effect from for movies from the 80s. Um, However, if I really crank this resonance up, you already hear a very well-defined tone, uh, which is even uh, which is fun when you uh, switch on the key tracking. So this is how you can create your own kind of flute-like sounds. Now, notice what happens if I hold the note but I'm going to switch off this noise generation. And here's a little bit of magic, right? Self oscillating filter. It, it keeps giving us sound without any sound source. Because this white noise that got into that inner circuitry of the filter, if I may use that analogy, keeps going. It's just a feedback. And by the way, um, Remember that in all filters, most of the filters of uh, resonance, this high Q is uh, achieved by feedback loop, usually with uh, face flip. So it's a feedback mechanism, right? That's why it keeps ringing. However, if I reduce this resonance, I can kind of come back. But if I keep it away for too long, Ah, here we go. It's not coming back, right? Because the, the entire everything that was inside that filter, all these, you know, 
traces of noise, they rang out and they are no longer there. So in order to, to make this filter play again, we obviously need to switch, off, switch on white noise. However, here's a trick. You don't need much noise. You actually need a symbolic amount. Notice how little I need. I didn't, I just moved a mouse like one raster and only now you'll even see the number change. Yeah, one. So even before you can see, you know, 0 0.001, this filter already works. So, um, and by the way, a lot of synthesizers, especially uh, those that imitate analog synthesizers, they will self-oscillate even with without this white noise. So keep in mind, a lot of uh, virtual analogs these days, they will uh, self-oscillate. Uh, in Serum and in Vital, we need, you know, most of these filters will need a little bit of help. Although some Serum filters, I notice they self-oscillate. So it's it's just a matter of, you know, checking. And remember, we have a bunch of different filters here. So let's try this. So this dirty filter also needs a little bit of help from us, but just a sim symbolic amount. So that's self-oscillation. And you can also explore it on your own. Notice how beautiful this effect is here. It kind of comes in. I really, really love it. By the way, I just can't stop myself. Let's try it with maybe some kind of a whale sound. Um, size, time. Too much. Right, so it's like a very kind of, there's something organic about it, really, really beautiful. So anyway, um, that's self-oscillation. Now, filter pinging is very interesting. Uh, you'll hear about it a lot in modular world. Whenever we try new filters, we, we ping them. We use them as instruments. So for this technique, let's actually start from scratch. For this technique, we want to create an impulse, some kind of very short sound here. Uh, let's use the second envelope. And let's see if it works. Okay. So that will be probably enough. Um, hi hat like sound. We can make it super short, like a, like a, like a pure, pure impulse. And I'm going to send it through this filter again. However, and obviously resonance, however, this time I'm going to try to find that sweet spot just before this filter self oscillates. So now I went too far, right? 90% I know it's too far because it keeps ringing. But the sweet spot is probably somewhere here. Yeah, 85%. And now if I do key tracking, it's very interesting um, technique here, right? It's, you can, it's probably too quiet, but uh, by the way, this dirty one should gives us So it's an um, interesting technique if you think about the fact that you can now change, if you imagine this white noise impulse is more like a mallet and the filter is, is body of the instrument. Um, and now if we change that source, magic happens, right? You have different, very interesting sounds that with extra love from effects and maybe um, delays, you might get really interesting organic sounds. So that's filter pinging. Now let's now take this one step ahead and let's try to create a ping, uh, a kick from that. 
Uh, and the only thing missing right now is the filter sweep. We need to do something like that. So um, we could use LFO. Um, however, I'm going to show you a slightly more interesting way because we are in, vi uh, in Vital. I'm going to use Envelope. And let's see. It's not bad already. However, Vital gives us this really f um, nice feature of um, nice ability to shape those envelopes further. So right now, as you can see, envelope three goes to filter cutoff. But on the way, we can remap it a little bit. We can we can shape that curve further. And it's very important for kick sounds. Ah, look at this. Oof. So the idea of when, whenever you design those sounds, idea is that those first fractions of a millisecond for that high pitched uh, sweep should be super fast. And then you find that sweet spot somewhere here. And th there are so many different possibilities here. Um, and what I like about this technique, this mod remap, is that you can very quickly try different versions of decay. Um, so when you work on that right now, it's all about finding that this right curve of your pitch envelope. You have to find the right tuning and amount of this modulation. Notice how many different possibilities we have here. Different filters will sound differently. Oof. Look at this. And finally, different, um, different exciters, right? Different noise sources. And they also can be shaped. In this case, I have envelope two. Oof. Look at this, how many, it's so much fun. And and they they have such a huge impact on on your sound. Um, important thing to keep in mind that there are two uh, possibilities here. Why one is that we we keep using that filter pinging that I'm trying to find that resonance this that dies out on its own. However, for stronger kicks, you can go all the way up now. And um, then just simply use main envelope to, to, sh to, to shut it um, down completely. So and again, we, I would probably spend a um, million years tuning and finding different possibilities here. And uh, don't forget that we in Vital, it's, um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. Uh, in Vital, we have another filter here. Um, in Serum, by the way, there you can you can use filters. There are more filters in in effects section, but here we just we just can we can send this um, noise to a second filter, and the fact to have a second kick that we're layering in here. So let's try that. Uh, I'm going to use the same envelope. I'm going to go to Matrix to remap it again. Now, it's, I mean, it's fun, but you probably also have to be careful because uh, depending on how um, clean you want this kick to be, there's something nice and beautiful about the fact that it's, it's not. Um, but but uh, a lot of producers will want to have something more predictable and uh, 
controllable. And another thing to keep in mind is that whenever you use those noise sources, some of them will be stere stereo. And that's a problem in production because you don't want your, your sound to be too wide. Right? If you have headphones right now. Now, this this kick will be a little bit problematic in, in your production. You can narrow it down or you can use plugins later on to um, collapse everything below 200 hertz to mono. So you will still have nice stereo spread in, in upper range, but um, but everything below should be more manageable. So um, I hope you found found it helpful. Um, to be honest, like I, I feel like I, I would just like to keep going right now and just just uh, trying to find different flavors of of kick and uh, and I hope you guys will see that with either Serum or, or, or Vital, you really don't need those millions of, of uh, splice presets and uh, audio files that you download and spend hours finding your kick. I think it's more fun to just do it yourself. Everything you need is here. Um, if you go further this route, remember that in proper production, you also have to layer these sounds with uh, with maybe sample bass. So you, you, you still probably need to to use this as a as one of the components, but it's a very, very good starting point. You can put effects after that. And most importantly, these 808s are yours. They are unique and, um, and you had fun making them. So that's it for today and um, have fun. <laughs>